Hey, it's Chris Gately, Gately Properties, your friend in the real estate business. And uh, I know I did a live stream not too long ago and the sound didn't work. Well, in, in all fairness, I had some issues. It was my first time doing a live stream. I'm gonna try it again soon. Hopefully you get it right in this, this time uh, properly. But I wanted to talk about what we talked about in that live stream so those people who didn't hear me can actually uh, hear me. And what we were talking about is the new home community Five Point Valencia. Now, Five Point Valencia is coming in and it is expected to be a huge development, but it's coming in phases. And I want to talk about phase one right now. So the information we have on phase one is kind of limited. It is still coming in. Uh, right now, there's about four developers in the first phase, uh, Toll Brothers, uh, Richmond American, KB, and Lennar. I might be missing one. Right now, we only have KB and Lennar that have the info. We have elevations on what the homes look like. We have information on the number of bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage. We have floor plans for both communities. Um, Lennar actually has 10 different communities within phase one. KB has two. Um, I reached out to a representative from KB. We do not have pricing. We probably won't have pricing till about April. So we're close. Lennar, on the other hand, we have information on. So let's take a look at what they're selling and how much it's gonna cost. All right, so this is the information we have for Lennar. Um, Lennar is taking reservations right now. Um, one of the things they are asking though is that you at least get pre-qualified with their, their in-house lender. Now it does not mean you have to use their in-house lender, but I will tell you there's a few perks sometimes. Uh, I've had buyers use their in-house lender before and get discounts on closing costs. Uh, maybe they get a free upgrade. Um, but there's a lot of perks to not using an in-house lender. Um, sometimes the rates are better. But, you know, I always recommend that you at least get uh, two, if not three quotes from lenders and might as well get a quote from the in-house lenders, see how they are on rates. Maybe it's worth your while to go that direction. Um, interest list is going right now. Right now, they don't have any uh, homes to actually show. Those will be coming in mid-April. And as you can see, they've got quite a few collections. We've got the Marigold. We got the Jasmine, the Rose Mist, the Wisteria, the Cassia, I'm probably saying some of these wrong, the Siena, Siena, the Tulip, the Orchid, Lantana, and Lamp Night. Now, let's start with the lowest uh, priced ones. Starting at 400,000 are the Lamp Lights. Now, the Lamp Light homes are flats. Now, that does not mean that you occupy the entire space. Uh, in fact, you are just going to occupy one floor of that space, kind of similar to what a traditional condo you think is. It's not a detached townhome. It is uh, four walls and you can, whatever is within those four walls and a ceiling and a roof, uh, ceiling and a floor. So uh, those start at 400000 And the nice thing I do like about a Lennar is everything's included. Um, if you look at the included features in this one, uh, we'd have to take a look, and these are the included features right now. They say $25,000 of included features. This is Residence One. Residence One is only 720 square feet, uh, one bedroom, one bath, one bay garage. Residence Two, two bedrooms, two baths. Um, they still don't have the the coming soon is 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 the pricing here, so they don't have the actual pricing up yet for a lamp light, but you can see where it kind of sits. Lantana, now we're going up in price uh, to the mid 500,000. We actually go from a flat to a attached townhome style where you own one, two, three floors. The number of the day you're about to see, the number of the day is three. This has a few different elevations. Uh, you can see there's one elevation there and the other elevation here. Not much change. 
Um, you get the wood paneling on this elevation. I actually quite like that. Um, these go from two to three bedrooms. These start at the 500,000s. Um, they don't say the prices, but we know these start at the $500,000 level. A two bay garage, 1549 square feet, 1714 square feet for the three bedroom. We did find out the other day that the builder has filed, or the, sorry, the city of Santa Clarita has given the authorization for the builders to create a community service district and a Melrose district. Uh, so likely these will have HOA and Melrose, which might be why they have it starting at, but they don't have the actual price listed yet. Now, when we get to Siena, you can see these are individual homes. Now these range from the 700s um, and they've got different elevations. Let us know which one you'd like. Um, you know, an elevation when I say that is just how the front of the house looks and what the shape of the house looks like. And the idea is that as a, a new home builder, you're gonna build multiple homes. They'll have the same layout inside, but they'll look different. That way you're not going in a community where everything looks exactly the same because that's how you get lost. But you can see there's a few different elevations. Um, do you like the more uh, geometric shape? Do you like more of the traditional uh, shake? and uh, siding, do you more like the rock and stone? Um, and this one goes between three bedrooms and four bedrooms, but this, this one actually includes what is kind of interesting called an NEV parking. Now, NEV parking, the idea in this community is that uh, that will be your neighborhood electric vehicle. So you'll have a small little golf cart basically, electric golf cart. Might be a little bit bigger, but not much. And you'll be able to take that to down the street to what hopefully, and is is on the, the drawing board right now, will be an entertainment, uh, entertainment complex uh, as well as a similar to CityWalk, but for um, Six Flags, if you will. That's what's planned. And the idea is it's a way to keep that area a little bit more green, a little bit more Silicon suburbs that they were originally going for. There's a lot of, lot of great things about this community. And I mean, if you're interested, please reach out. I'm gonna keep going on uh, information dives and trying to get as much information as I can out there uh, about this uh, community as it comes along. I'm hoping that I get uh, KB homes information shortly. KB does tend to be less expensive than Lennar. However, Lennar does include um, their list of everything included. So usually what you see in their models is the way that it will be delivered to you with those fixtures. There are some upgrades if you want, but there is a good base. Uh, Rose Mist, now this is a larger home also has the NEV parking, four bedrooms, three and a half baths to four and a half baths. Uh, nice big home, you can see. And this one's also got the three level. Now, somebody did ask not too long ago, will these have backyards? Now, I don't think they will. I don't think any of these will have backyards because if you look in the, in the uh, art here, there's a house behind here, right? And so what do you have? You don't have a front garage, so you have to have a rear garage. So do you think you're gonna have a, a, a backyard? No, will you have a side yard? Possibly, yes. Yeah, you're, you're likely to have a small side yard. Um, in this elevation, you can see this opening right here. I think this is gonna be your side yard right here. Same width over here. I don't think you're gonna have a backyard though. So will backyards be coming to Five Point Valencia? Yes. Some of those developments will be coming. I don't know if they'll be in phase one or phase two of the development. Um, when you get to phase two of the development, you actually do have individual lots uh, versus this is community, um, one lot, one APN, and then it's got several homes on that APN. So, so if that's what uh, you were looking for, great. Um, please check out their website. Uh, just Google Five Point Valencia or five point 
uh, Valencia Lenar, L-E-N-N-A-R. And you can get the information. Uh, they are, like I said, taking reservations now, taking interest list, um, but they are asking people to try to get pre-qualified uh, as soon as possible because they want to make sure that you can buy the house. Now, if you buy a house, maybe you have to sell a house, right? So that's when you should talk to a local real estate agent to see about getting you the most dollar for your home. And I've done in the past, I've worked with new home builders to get a home sold. And one of the things that they ask for a real estate agent is to have very good communication skills, keep them in the loop on what's going on with the deal because they do have deadlines that they need to meet. They have timelines that they need to meet. And also don't forget, we can represent you in the purchase. Uh, if you'd like, what we can do is usually we can negotiate uh, terms, we can negotiate price. In the past, um, just by representing a buyer, we were able to get them an extra $10,000 towards closing just so we can close a little bit sooner. So those things happen. There's a reason to be represented when you buy a new home. There's also a re reason to be represented when you sell a, your existing home. So with that, I hope you have a wonderful Friday and I hope to bring you some more information shortly because there are some serious developments happening in the Santa Clarita Valley. And I'm going to leave you with this. So I just want to leave you with this little information. So I was able to participate in the Santa Clarita Economic Development Council meeting today where they were talking about what's going on in Santa Clarita Valley. Right now, this is a list of all the projects currently going in Santa Clarita Valley. As you can see, Five Point Valencia is right there at the top, currently underway. Skyline Ranch, that's over off of Plum Canyon and Skyline Drive, that's on underway. Vista Canyon, that's over off across the, um, it's on the south side of Santa Clara River, uh, that's being built. North Lake, um, that's being built. Tesoro de Valley Space 2, that was actually approved way back in the day and they're finally building it. Uh, Williams Ranch, that's going, I mean, there's so many, 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 many things underway. You can see under review, approved, underway, underway, under review, approved. By the way, the Bouquet Canyon one is going to be very interesting. It's a whole realignment of Bouquet Canyon. Metro Walk, under, under, under review. Um, DACA Castaic is currently being built. Placer Rita Ranch on hold. Will likely come back. River Village Area D, another one. Um, Al Aden, Adelin Hills, approved. And you're going, well, where are all those people going to work? They're all going to be on the freeway. Well, the idea is that they're not on the freeway. The idea is that they work locally. Where? These are all the commercial and investment developments currently going on in the Antelope, or in the uh, Santa Clarita Valley. We'll get to Antelope Valley later. Right now, Needham Ranch, still being built out. By the way, Amazon just moved in there. There's a studio going in there. A lot of stuff going in at Needham Ranch. The IAC Commerce Center is being built. Uh, Southern California Innovation Park has been approved. Oak Ridge Industrial is going in. Vista Canyon, again, that's the one that's on the south side of the um, Santa Clara River. V uh, Princessa Crossroads Retail, that one's under review right now. Um, the Resort Hotel in San, should be San Canyon, not San Canyon. Um, Holiday Inn just got finished. Um, or is finishing uh, Homewood Suites, which is right there across off the five um, in Magic Mountain Parkway. You can see it when you're exiting on uh, Magic Mountain headed north. That is underway. I would want to, I want to keep you informed. And if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to drop us a message, put us in the contacts. Um, we love communicating with you. And uh, as I get more information about what's going on in the Santa Clarita Valley, about development, about building, about um, jobs, uh, I'm going to let you know. That's my job. That's my job here is to stay informed and be an informed real estate agent so that you can keep informed as a buyer and seller in Santa Clarita. So with that, have a wonderful day. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.